Hi everyone, welcome to reading night. Second grade is sharing a lesson on adjectives. Please have your whiteboard and marker available. Adjectives. Learning target. I am learning to describe what I'm reading using adjectives. Success criteria. I can describe characters by what they say and do. I can use my senses to describe nouns. I can explain how the words help me understand the text. So when we're talking about senses, we're thinking about what we see, hear, smell, taste. And when we're explaining, we're talking about adjectives that describe a noun, a person, place, or thing. We're gonna use adjectives to help us when we're reading our Geronimo Stilton book. It's movie time. Peter watched a superhero movie this weekend. This is what he said about the superhero. He was a strong superhero. He was a friendly superhero. He was a fast superhero. He was a brave superhero. All these words describe the superhero. He's strong, he's friendly, he's fast, and he's brave. Words that describe nouns are called adjectives. Adjectives tell us more about nouns. So here is a thing, a car, it's a noun. Fast, expensive, red, new, big, and flashy. A book, new, old, scary, purple, heavy, good. Now let's check how we did today. What is an adjective? So we're gonna pick the adjectives and see if they stick to the board. So shout them out to help us. Small, fast, big, sweet, expensive, round, and fresh. I wonder about Monday. Hmm. It didn't stick. It's not an adjective, mm -mm. it doesn't describe. What about bake? Not that one either. No, and eat? Nope. Oh, they don't describe a noun. Here's an elephant. Shout out which word describes the elephant. Heavy, look, or bird? Heavy, good job. A frog, reed, snow, or green? Green, excellent. Ice cream, boat, cold, or run? Good job. Cold. A hot cup of chai tea. Listen, cloud, or hot? Hot. hot. Pizza. Right, delicious, or lion? Delicious. Very good. We can use our five senses to think about adjectives. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch. Some examples for sight would be yellow, big, and rusty. Some examples for hearing is soft, low, loud. Some examples for smell, sweet, delicious, and strong. And strong is a word I didn't know was an adjective that described what we smell. So a strong smell could be, what, what do you think would be a strong smell? Some garbage. Garbage, yes. That would be a strong smell. Taste examples, sour, spicy, salty, and touch, smooth, spiky, and cold. Can you think of some other examples? Shout them out. Thank you for participating. Use your senses to think of adjectives that describe popcorn. Write the adjectives on your whiteboard. What does popcorn look like? Taste like? What does it sound like, smell like, and feel like? Excellent, let's check ourselves. White, definitely soft, delicious, 
crunchy, sweet, salty. Yeah, I was thinking salty. Very good. Good job. Complete each sentence with an interesting adjective. Write your answer on your whiteboard. The blank superhero saved the cat. Hold up your whiteboards. Shout it out. Excellent. The superhero bought a blank book. What adjective could describe that book she's holding? Write it down and shout it out. Good, Good job. job. The superhero ate blank popcorn. Describe the popcorn. Good job. Find the adjectives in each sentence. Make Write your answer on your whiteboard. Hello. Ben saw a friendly superhero. Which word is the adjective that describes the superhero? Yay. Friendly. The superhero saved the little birds. Which adjective describes the birds? Little. He lifted a heavy car. Which word describes the adjective? Uh, which word describes the noun car? Heavy. The superhero read an exciting book. Which adjective describes the book? Exciting. He attended an excellent superhero school. Which word describes the school? Excellent. I gave her a pretty flower. Which word describes the flower? Pretty. His brave dog saved the day. Which word describes the dog? Brave. The dangerous crocodile wanted to eat us, but the strong superhero saved us. Ooh, this one has two. We're looking for an adjective that describes crocodile, and we're looking for one that describes superhero. Dangerous and strong. The smart superhero read many books. We're looking for two. We're looking for an adjective to describe superhero and an adjective to describe books. Smart and many. The sweet superhero listened to an amazing story. Two adjectives. We need one to describe superhero and one to describe story. Sweet and amazing. He wrote a long and interesting report. We need two adjectives to describe report. Long and interesting. She flew fast through the dark and dangerous galaxy. Wow, we need two words to describe that galaxy. Dark and dangerous. Underline the adjectives in green. We're going to check our learning. So on your whiteboard, you are going to... Actually, you know what? Why don't we just shout them out? Because we'll Perfect. check. Perfect. Alex and Mia went to the big park. Number two, the tall superhero saved the old lady. Number three, Mr. Jones is a good teacher. Number four, the brave superhero wore a red mask. And number five, the happy children waited for the yellow bus. Let's check ourselves. Alex and Mia went to the big park. The tall superhero saved the old lady. Mr. Jones is a good teacher. The brave superhero wore a red mask. The happy children waited for the yellow bus. Woohoo! Let's check our learning. So our target for learning today was we're learning to describe what we're reading using adjectives. So you are reading that Geronimo Stilton book. You're going to be looking for all those adjectives that that author uses to describe and make a better picture in your mind. You can describe characters by what they say and do. 
You can use your senses to describe nouns, and you can explain how those words help you understand the text. So you're looking for those adjectives as you're reading today. And every day when you're reading the Geronimo Stilton and other books, you did a great job, everyone. Thank you for joining us for reading night. Bye.